Okay, Dave, I, I just want to know how it sounds, if there is any distortion, if you hear any splatter on uh, your uh, waterfall. No, no, no splatter. No splatter at all. Okay, very clean show. Great stuff to hear you now again from, uh, from uh, Belgium. You're a... Uh... Okay, I just received this one in the mailbox, the Micro PA 100, a new 100 watt amplifier uh, with 5 watt input, so uh, very convenient if you are using a QRP radio like the Hermes Lite. Uh, when you open the box, you are greeted with a little card where you have a QR code where you can download the manual and also the firmware upgrades, but also you have a Facebook uh, group QR code that you can uh, connect to and uh, you can get support from there. When we just take off the uh, cover, we are greeted with uh, two things in the box. And the first thing is the uh, power supply cable. And the second thing itself is the amplifier itself. My first impressions is that it's uh, about 50% uh, bigger than the Micro PA50 or 50 Plus that I currently also own. So here you go, this is the Micro PA 100 unpacked and unwrapped. Uh, let me just get rid of this little sticker here, the protection of the screen. This Micro PA 100 amplifier is uh, supposed to be used with 5 watt maximum input. So it's perfect companion for people who are using QRP radios. And as we know, I am a very big fan of the Hermes Light. So it's a perfect companion also for the Hermes Light radio. So maximum input 5 watts and the output should be around 100 and even a little bit more uh, on the different bands. This amplifier supports the band from 10 to 80 meter. So it runs from 3.5 megahertz up to 29.7 megahertz. The front panel looks like this. You've got a little fan here. You've got a nice display. This display is exactly the same as what you can find on the Micro PA 50 plus and it also has a function key. At the bottom, they have added a few rubbers here, which are quite nice. This is not the case with the Micro PA 50 or the 50 plus. And on the back, you will find the ACC, the accessory port. It's a 3.5 millimeter jack. You also have the input for the DC. It also has, of course, the antenna connection for the transceiver and for the antenna. And that little fan here is going to help the cooling. And there's also a few holes here, so you can see the cooling fan inside. So this amplifier is also coming with auto sensing. So if you are not connecting the amplifier with the accessory port on the back, you can also just use the auto sensing feature. It will automatically probe uh, what is your frequency and it will automatically do the switching in the software uh, once you're changing the bands. There's also different protections built in. So the protections are maximum input limit. So if you go beyond five watt, it will go into security. If the output power is beyond the limits of the amplifier, it will go into security. When the uh, SWR is beyond 2.0, it will also engage the security. And when it's overheating, it will also engage the security. So that's the nice feature. It's very well protected. And if you keep the protection on, I think you can really manage to have a good use of this amplifier. So let me just uh, have a look on the inside, the internals, uh, see how this thing is built. And as you can see, it's a very well-built amplifier, so it looks very nice. This here are the four uh, MOSFETs. Uh, these are IRF224 MOSFETs, which are pretty inexpensive. So if you run into problems and these need to be replaced, you can replace them for a very cheap price. And here you have the filters for the different bands. One difference between the Micro PA50 and the Micro PA100 is that the fuse on the Micro PA50 version will be on the cable. Here it is internal and you can see the fuse is right here. So basically that's it. So uh, let me uh, put this into the shack 
and test. So we're back in the shack now. Here you can see the difference between the Micro PA50 and the Micro PA100 in size. Uh, so as I told you, I think it's more or less about 50% bigger than the Micro PA50. Currently it's turned off and uh, I'll just go on 80 meter. I do not have a dummy load, so I have to do it on the air. So I will check that the uh, frequency is not in use. And first thing to check is without the amplifier, what is my SWR? And I get about uh, one over five ish, something like that. So, and here you can see that indeed I get about one over five. My output power is 2.7 watts without the amplifier. I'm going to unkey and turn it on. And let me just now transmit. And as you can see, I get about 111 watts out with 2.6 watts in. I am going to tune one more time. The SWR on the input of the amplifier is about 1.5 and this is for 80 meters. So I'm now on 40 meters and uh, let me just be sure that the amplifier is turned off. Let me just send a carrier. And as you can see, my SWR here is more or less one over one something, so very low. And uh, here it says indeed one over zero. My output power is 4.11 watts. Uh, let me now unkey and turn on the amplifier again and send a carrier. Okay, I get about 112 watts out with a carrier of 4 and something watts. I can still go beyond. If I go beyond, I'll probably make the amplifier trip because it's going to go beyond uh, 120 watts, which is the limit for this amplifier. So if I tune just, just at the limit, I get about 120 watts out of it. Uh, and just the SWR on the furnace light to the amplifier is also about 1.5. Okay, I don't have the capability to transmit on 30 meters and neither on 60, so we switch to the 20 meter band. Let me see if the frequency is clear because I'm on the air. I'm going to send a signal, so a tune signal. As you can see, my SWR on my quad antenna is about 1.5. And here it says 1.26. My input power is 2.74 whiskeys. Let me untune. There you go. Let me turn on the amplifier now. And let me send a tune signal. And with 2.6 watts, I get about 66 watts out. I am going to increase the drive. And this is the maximum I can get with my Hermes light. So that's about 5 watts and I get about 111 watts out. So it just starts to make the beep go off. So I turned the slider down just half of a dB and I still have 106 watts. The SWR on the amplifier from my Hermes light here is 1.3-ish, something like that. And as you can see, we have a nice 105 watts with this power drive on 20 meter. So now I switch to 17 meter and I turned off the amplifier. So let me just send a carrier first. And uh, you can see that my SWR on the uh, antenna is about 1.8, something like that. So on the uh, micro PA, you can see that it says 1.7, which is more or less what I'm supposed to have. So let me just unkey and let me turn on the amplifier again and let me just start the tune and as you can see with I didn't check the drive power let me just turn it off the drive power right now is 3.2 watts and if I turn on the amplifier I have about 75 watts. I'm going to put the slider here to the maximum and I get a very nice 88 watts out of the micro PA 100 on 17 meters. 
and I'm going to turn back the drive a little bit and my SWR 2D amplifier is about 1.5 on 20 meters. So again I turned off the uh, power amplifier, the micro PA 100. We are now on 15 meters uh, and I'm at uh, full output power so if I send a tune on the Hermes slide I get more or less about 5 watts. My SWR seems to be pretty well. I have a 1 over 1 5 cell here. It says 1 over 0, so uh, 1 over 1, sorry. And we've got about 4.6 uh, watts of drive. Let me just unkey, turn on the amplifier, and key up again in 3, 2, 1. And here we get about 93 watts out of the amplifier. And as you can see, the SWR is a little bit more accurate with the uh, power uh, that has been increased. And currently on the Hermes light, I can see I've got a 1 over 4.5 as far as my SWR is concerned. So 5 watts in and about 92 watts out on, seven, sorry, on 15 meters. I am now on 12 meters. And let me see that the frequency is clear because I don't want to interfere anybody. Uh, sending a carrier, so we are on 24.71. Let me send a tune signal. The current SWR readings here is 1.2 more or less. So if I look at the micro PA100, I get about 2.5 watts out at the moment with a SWR of 1.36 which is more or less the same as what I get here, it's just a little bit less. So let me turn on the amplifier and I have to unkey to engage the transmission and key up again. And here I get about 80 watts out, so that's not too bad. And one, more, one thing that I have as an issue is my SWR 2D amplifier is quite high. There's a 2 over 2.2 more or less, uh, so which is quite weird. And finally we have the uh, 10 meter band. I have the drive to the maximum so I should normally have 5 watts. So let me click on tune. And as you can see my SWR here is about 1 over 3. On the amplifier here it says 1.58. There might be a small difference. And the maximum power that I can get out of my Hermes light is 4.6 watts. Let me turn on the amplifier and I'm going to untune and key again to engage it. And here you can see that my output power is about 82 uh, watts on 10 meter with 5 watts input. And as you can see my SWR is within the parameters for 10 meters and uh, that means I've got about 1.5 ish of uh, SWR from the Hermes light to the micro PA50. So that completes the tests and the power output for the different bands with the micro PA50. So these are my final thoughts of the micro PA100 and I also compare it a little bit with the micro PA50. It's a very robust amplifier. I think it's a little bit more robust than the micro PA50 plus or the micro PA50. I have the feeling that the micro PA100 the MOSFETs are stronger and uh, are more capable of handling heat than the micro PA50. And it's also the case because if you look at the micro PA50, this one goes, goes into protection mode when you reach the temperature of 60 degrees centigrade. While the micro PA100 has a limit temperature of 70 degrees centigrade. So that is a huge difference. Uh, Price-wise, it is quite an acceptable price because this one here retails for more or less about 280 to 290 euros. I was able to get this one because I was the first one who bought it I think uh, for uh, 260 euros so that was 232 plus uh, some taxes on top of it that I had to pay when it arrived here. So I guess that at that time the uh, seller on AliExpress didn't add up the uh, taxes so if you buy one of these let us know if you had to pay any taxes when you purchase from the suppliers. I've got them in the list of the description of uh, this video. So you can uh, click on the links and get to the uh, official suppliers of the Micro PA100. So you can also get the warranty that you're supposed to get from the amplifiers. 
So the power output is good. Price-wise, it's okay. The only thing that I'm disappointed is the SWR on the 12 meter band. I contacted the manufacturer and he told me it's normal to have this kind of a SWR input on 12 meters. Apparently, uh, he told me, yeah, but normally uh, all transceivers are capable of handling up to 3 over uh, 1. Now, this is 2.2. That's more or less the SWR that I get uh, from my uh, micro PA uh, 100 when I turn it on and I look at my uh, Hermes light. I think the Hermes will be able to handle it. But still, I would prefer to have a input of SWR less than 2. I will make two more videos about this amplifier, uh, or maybe one, I will see what I will do. Uh, one will be actually how to co interconnect it with the um, Hermes light. That's the first video I would like to make. <clears throat> and also explaining the different functions uh, here with the function key. Uh, that's also one that is quite interesting. Another video is going to talk about the harmonics. So I'm going to connect also my uh, tiny SA and check the harmonics of this particular micro PA100 amplifier. So please let us know if you have any particular questions so I can address these questions in a future video. Also, if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments section. And uh, also your comments maybe on uh, what you think is good and not good on the amplifier. It has a lot of protections built in, so um, I cannot make the protection trip uh, because of uh, too high input power because I'm using the Hermes light and I have a maximum uh, input uh, power that I can put into the uh, micro PA100 of 5 watts so I cannot trip it with the maximum input. I've been able to trip it on the maximum output power on 80 meter and I've also been able to trip it with uh, high SWR beyond 2.0 so the protection seems to work pretty well and I was also uh, using a carrier for 6 minutes almost six almost seven minutes uh, a carrier where i was pushing the amplifier to its limits <clears throat> and i was getting uh, about 110 watts out and this is where i reached the maximum temperature of about 70 degrees centigrade for the micro pa 100 so please let me know if you have any other questions 70 trees this is on 7 off aka hotel sierra zero zulu papa x-ray now signing off and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video